Hi there, hope everybody's keeping well. So the other day I received this in the post from my uh, good friend, um, Raymond Earl. I'll put a link in the description to his YouTube channel. Uh, please go and take a look at it. Be much appreciated. I'm sure he did enjoy a few more subscribers if you would like to subscribe to him. So yeah, I got this in the post the other day. Uh, I've been wanting one of these for quite some time. It's a radio microphone set. Looks quite nice. I uh, haven't really looked into it much at the moment. Uh, how does it oh, no, they open like that? Just takes uh, two batteries inside there. I've got the uh, microphone input there on and off switch and on the side here you can switch the channel and adjust the volume on there and you get a clip on there to clip onto your belt um, that one's the receiver transmitter and this is pretty much the same as the other except this receives the signal from this one here and inputs it into whatever device you're recording on you also get which I thought was quite nice a hot shoe mount, or cold shoe mount, sorry. Um, so you can mount it on top of a SLR or um, micro, four, four, micro four thirds type camera. So this will fit on my main camera as well, which is quite handy. And since you can use this with any microphone, which is handy, I can uh, use this to plug my shotgun microphone into when I'm doing, uh, when I do my little um, wildlife videos that I do sometimes. So that's, that might be quite handy, because that means I can put the microphone out in the field to get audio. Uh, that should be, yeah, that might that could be handy, I have to see how it goes. Yeah, also you get in here, you get a cable for connecting it up to your camera. So if you had like a SLR with a microphone input, that will work for that. Also get a cable so you can plug it directly into your smartphone that's if it's got a uh, 3.5 inch jack on it now because uh, my main phone um, my brother gave me his old phone which is a iPhone 8 uh, they don't have microphone inputs on their headphone jacks on them anymore so um, you have to get a USB adapter to use them but um, I'm using today my um, old iPhone my iPhone SE which I still use a lot because, um, well, that's pretty much what I make all my videos on. Uh, you'll have to excuse the light in here. I'm inside my uh, little wooden, uh, which used to be the solar workshop. Uh, I just tidied it out over the weekend and, uh, yeah, I'm in here at the moment uh, watching the birds on the feeders out the window. And I just thought I'd quickly uh, show you this, what Raymond sent me. And then also you get this uh, little lapel microphone. The little clip on it, so you can clip it on your shirt. And one thing I do like about it, on the microphone connection and the audio connections, I've got these little screw locks on there, so when you put them on here, you can screw them on and you can't pull them out. That's brilliant. Because the microphone that I used to use on my phone, I am forever pulling it out because um, on the iPhones you need a headphone microphone splitter. If it's not a standard um, iPhone microphone or standard phone microphone, whatever. Um, and sometimes I will uh, pull it out and not notice it because it's on a um, long three metre lead. <clears throat> Not that my audio is any good on any of my videos, it's usually pretty crap anyway, but uh, hopefully uh, these might make my audio better, possibly, I don't know. Um, I think we should uh, try them out and see what they sound like. Right, so I've got the receiver connected up to my camera phone. And I've got the transmitter and the power microphone on my shirt. So hopefully you're, you can hear this. But, um, 
Yeah, so to change the channel on these, you just press and hold and it will go through the 12 different channels. So it's pretty easy to select and then press the volume and it will go through five different volume preset volume settings. So it's pretty simple to use. I think this red light here shows it is connected. <clears throat> so yeah. Seem pretty good. So what I'll do now is I will just uh, walk down the garden and see how far the mic will go. So I'm about one metre away, two metres, three metres, four metres, five metres, six metres, seven metres, eight metres, nine metres, ten metres, nine metres, eight metres, seven metres, six metres, five metres, four metres, three metres, two metres, one metre, So I hope you uh, heard that anyway. Um, so yeah, I've got to say, um, I think I just listened back to that audio and um, I'm pretty impressed with that. It goes 10 metres and there's absolutely no break up in the connection. So, and the audio is, you know, pretty clear. I mean, I'm no audio person, but it sounded okay to me, you know, uh, so yeah. These look like these are going to be a great addition to my camera so I won't be tripping over leads anymore when I do use a microphone because I did actually uh, stop using a microphone a while back just because I kept tripping over the cable or I'd have it attached, it'd be on a short cable and I'd have it attached to my phone and then I would jank my phone and it would go flying so yeah this is going to be really good. So I'd just like to say thanks to Raymond, uh, really do appreciate it, appreciate the thought, thanks very much. Uh, yeah, so please go and check out his uh, YouTube, um, there'll be a link, be much appreciated if you go over and uh, see him, and uh, subscribe if you'd like to, be appreciated, I'm sure he'd appreciate it too. He's into, uh, you know, solar power and making um, power walls and that so yeah and he's uh, currently I think he's going to be rebuilding his workshop so might be something on that I don't know but yeah he usually has some interesting videos so yeah just say thanks again Raymond much appreciated and I'll um, see you next time take care everybody Give the video a thumbs up and please comment down below. Bye.